Here at Stronghold, we often talk about how we provide ACH payments and get a blank stare. Then we explain the ACH, and once the merchant gets it, their eyes light up. Let me give you the really short version first. ACH is how we make payments that don't involve the card networks. ACH, which stands for Automated Clearing House, is the largest and oldest payment system in the US. It isn't exactly a household word, but many of us already depend on it. Believe it or not, the ACH network processed over $18 trillion in payments last quarter. That's trillion with a T. For context, the ACH network is over five times larger than the Visa network. It's how a direct deposit paycheck gets to an employee's checking account. It's how you may have authorized a utility company to make automated bill payments. If you send a Venmo payment to a friend with no fee, likely over ACH. It's how depository institutions, banks or credit unions, settle transactions between themselves. I think of it as payments stripped down to the bare bones, the real rails for moving money. Here's the thing. ACH payments are relatively uncommon for retail transactions. Sure, a customer can use a debit card instead of a credit card, and maybe without even the physical card, but that payment still has to go through the payment networks. And anyone who has ever tried to understand the merchant, acquirer, four-party payment system can tell you it's not the easiest diagram to follow. There are layers on top of layers, which of course also involve substantial fees. When we tell merchants Stronghold can let your customers pay for their purchases directly from their bank account, that is significantly different from what most other payment processors are offering them. It became especially important when the pandemic prompted a new demand for contactless payments. And the line between e-commerce, buy online, pick up in store, and brick and mortar businesses started to blur. To give you a very quick overview on how ACH works in a retail transaction, there's a simple set of participants. The consumer, the consumer's bank. The retailer and the retailer's bank, and us, Stronghold, and our bank as the bridge between them. Stronghold connects the retailer to the entire ACH network, enabling payments. The retailer's checkout process takes the customer to their bank's website and basically says, tell your bank it's okay to pay my bank. Then the operator says, all right, the transaction is settled and done. The Federal Reserve System plays a crucial role in ACH transactions. However, it's an organization called NACHA that governs the US ACH network. Stronghold is a member of NACHA's Payments Innovation Alliance, and we are excited to collaborate on increasing access to the ACH network and building a more inclusive, stable, and connected global economy.